Good morning, and what it do? I've never been so tired <laughs> and also so looking forward for today. I'm meeting up with someone who's sponsoring me, who's allowing me to wear his clothing. But when I go riding, I think that's super dope. All right, today I have to do an interview. I got interview questions planned out. The guy who I'm going to interview is sponsoring me for clothes. So I'm gonna record him for a little bit today. That's gonna happen after two o'clock. So I'm gonna go home, get showered, start editing, and then crank out this interview in this rain. This weather sucks. I ran down the block to my car and I got soaked. <laughs> If you remember a few vlogs ago, I did that pop-up shop. Well, that's the guy that I'm going to meet. Look at all that cool equipment. Well, that's just a bunch of outlets and a bunch of power. But that's, that's a huge generator to set everything up right now. Today he's not printing for Dose, but he's printing for Pure Print USA. Pure Print USA. That's who he's printing for today, which is his company that allows him to print for everybody else. So we're gonna watch that take place right now. Do you have any companies in mind that you want to collab with, like in the future? Um, not really like specific brands, but I, I like. I just like working with people, period, so it doesn't really matter to me. You know, as long as you're doing your thing and you're actually taking it serious, then cool. But like, if you're just like, oh, oh yeah, I, DK got a brand, then I'm not fucking with you. Because, you know, if somebody's creative and this is the, you know, their passion, I'm down to collab. Ding. My name is Brian Montesino, aka Dose, co-founder of Dose Clothing, CEO of Pure Prince USA. Um, I'm 24 years old, and I'm from the Bronx. My plan is to start my own company. My father didn't want me to leave. My father wanted me to stay with him, come work with him. I'd had nights that I would cry because I wanted to be here. Wow. Because I wanted to be here doing this. This man has cranked out roughly 20, 20 sweaters in 20 minutes. Front and back. I don't understand how he's flying through these things. Look at this alien contraption going on back here. This thing is weird. This man, Dose, the man, the myth, the printer, making insane shirts out here. Coming up with his own designs for other, for other companies. All right, so right now, this lens is at 18. 18 millimeters I want to see the difference between my lens and her lens because on her camera it looks really nice so I'm gonna try it on my camera in one two three how can I vlog with this <laughs> I'm so far from the camera right now <laughs> and I'm still not in frame I don't get it but I like this lens though. When you're in focus, you're in focus. When you're out, you're, you're, I might buy this lens just for pictures, maybe. Dro, you are a savage at taking photos. Look at this. 
girls got it poppin', AOD got it poppin'. Thank you. I've never had so much fun using a lens. So whenever I got a job, I would have to drive an hour and a half to Pennsylvania to get the job done. Okay. I gotta pay toll, I gotta pay gas, you get what I'm saying? And put the labor in. Yeah. So that's what I had to go through, get my dreams going. But because of that, I was able to learn everything about printing for free. I didn't have to take a class or anything like that. They were teaching me everything. So that's what I got out of that experience. My dad has a shoe factory in VR. He tells me, yo, why don't you come over here and work with me? I'll pay your flight. You just come and work. I go to DR, I stay in DR for six months, running my shoe, my, my dad's shoe factory. That's 52 employees. I learned everything about silk screen printing. Then I leave to DR, I learned how to run a business, because I'm helping somebody run a business. In celebration of the hard work. Your chair is Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. First beer since first legal beer. <laughs> Above gravity and then so say. Now it's back to my normal lens. I am flossed out in Dose clothes because the man himself has hooked it up with product that I can wear in these vlogs when I'm riding. So if you want, let me know and I'll let him know. And he has you because he has me. What was your name? I'm sorry. Johani. Johani? Yeah. All right. So Johani is an... Johani? Jo jo he's saying it right. Oh. Uh, so Johani is an artist. Like, mentally and physically, she's an artist. She made a physical bar out of pallets. And now she has a fire hydrant that I see here. And I just want her to explain why she has a fire hydrant. Basically, I have a fire hydrant because I'm on fire. So in case I go overboard, I need to turn myself off because I'll fucking blow up this whole building. <laughs> but no, I got this fire hydrant because I was walking on 39th Street um, downtown and I saw that it was laying there and I thought it was really interesting. I felt like I could do something with it. The first thing that came up in my mind was the color hot pink. So I'm looking to paint this hot pink. Um, that's just one of the ideas that I have, but I do want to add on more to it. One man's trash is another man's treasure, so that's what I like to do. I like to pick up trash from the streets and pretty much make it into my own creation. This bar, which is made out of pallets, was created all from something that she found on the street. But we're not going to skip the fact that she said that she found this on 34th Street. <laughs> we're in the Bronx right now. How did you get that home? <laughs> with the help of Dose, obviously, and he carry helped with the bar as well. You had to carry it? We, yeah. I carried it up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> step by step, though. So, I like to work with pom-pom balls a lot. <laughs> and I have a canvas with pom-pom balls, which is not done yet, either. I have to finish it. But when you're high and you look at it, it's very trippy. I'm getting burned over here. So I'm gonna move. I keep running into fire hydrants just laying around in the city, yeah. so I'm just probably know gonna... that's not the first one we're gonna take. I don't know if that's incriminating them. I hope it's not. Because art is positive, and to stay positive means that you're gonna stay moving forward. So don't bother them, alright? So don't incriminate them. Don't do that. Dose himself has just said some very inspirational stuff. All right, so he has put in my mind the difference between working and living. Your passion and your dream. He enjoys doing the printing because it allows him to pay his bills and allows him to further Dose, which is his brand. I've taken what I like to do and made it a living so that now I can have some sort of freedom to do my passion, you know, because um, the average person who works a nine to five doesn't have time to do their passion. I mean, that's very true. Think that's about how it. I you go to sleep. I'm sorry. Eight hours, if you're lucky. Mm -hmm. If you're lucky, you'll sleep eight hours. I'm over here messing up the interview. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lucky, you sleep eight hours. Bam, you got 16 hours left. Mm -hmm. You go to work, nine to five, that's eight hours. You got eight hours left. 
you spend at least two to three hours in transport to get to your job and get home all together. You have five hours left. By the time you get home, you don't want to do anything. You want to go to sleep because you're too tired. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You wake up the next day, and you do the exact same thing. The cycle. So that was my thing. My thing was exactly. avoiding that cycle. So that's why I started Pure Prince. God, give me my space. That's it. You don't have to say, please, no, no. Give me my space, thank you. Thank you. So the man, Earl Nightingale, said, a man will become what he thinks about most. In the sense of Dose, he has been thinking about building his company, finding a location, becoming successful with his Prince USA brand. And his track record for this is perfect. He went to PA, learned everything he needed to learn. For free. Went to DR, he learned how to run a business, Free. Yeah. While getting paid, let's not forget that part. Then he came here, had all his machines purchased, ready and to somebody go. Somebody else for free. For free. Somebody else bought the machines. Somebody paid for them. That's he $5, did not. Five thousand dollars worth of machines. Five thousand dollars worth of machines. He didn't. He didn't break a a dime on that. Didn't crack his wallet not even once. Got kicked out of a location. Five days later, he was in a new location, printing and working. I met him three weeks ago in this location where we did a pop-up shop. We did a bunch of graffiti on the wall and we clicked from there. Now we're here with Pure Prince USA, AKA Dose. This is a night of rain and bull crap that was going on outside. So I chose to come here, meet up with this man and learn a few things, experience this Pure Print USA lifestyle. Uh. <laughs> I am home. I am. I am awake now. I got I, the so the rain always finds a way to put me to sleep. I said that I was only going to take a 20 minute nap. The 20 minute nap turned into a four and a half hour nap. I don't know how this happened, but the vlog did not go up on time. Thank you, Dose, for sponsoring me, for allowing me to wear your brand and promote your brand when I go ride or, and in these vlogs. The quality is amazing. I, I really do enjoy it. So guys, I'm going to drop the links to his uh, Pure Prince USA and also to Dose, his apparel brand, in the description box below. So check him out. And honestly, if you need him to hook you up with Prince, let him know. Tell him that I sent you. Listen, I'm not profiting off this, but you guys will. Thank you again, Dose, for the experience and the time. I learned a lot from you. And on to many more adventures and many more accomplishments with you. So, on that note, on to tomorrow, where tomorrow's gonna be a better day and a better adventure. And don't forget, the one who believes, achieves.